All right, how's it going guys? Out here for a little bit of wizardry night before the end of the day, before it gets too dark. Coming out to the park, I'm in a more park at, uh, at the moment, uh, in a place, I, uh, a park I haven't been to very much, uh, a couple times, but I uh, thought I'd check out a little bit of a new place while I'm here, and it's beautiful. It's actually, uh, the sun's going down right now, so it's got beautiful hills in the background and everything like that. If you haven't been to Moore Park, it's a, really a beautiful place. You should definitely check it out sometime if you're ever in the area. Uh, it's a small town, but, but real chill, and I just need to kind of wrap up my dailies, so I thought I would come out here and finish that up uh for for the day because you know you got to complete those dailies because you want those 10 coins those 10 gold coins daily uh adds up really fast so uh definitely make sure that you're completing all those dailies uh, but had a very eventful weekend, so I haven't been able to play a ton. I tried to down in downtown LA, uh, but I really wasn't able to very much uh, because the game wouldn't open. It wouldn't literally wouldn't load, which was a total pain because I was really looking forward to playing down in downtown LA because there's just tons of stops down there. There's tons of inns and a ton of uh, fortresses as well. I was able to f do it at the very, very end. Um, but I didn't really get to do that much, which was a total bummer, honestly. So I got to get my walking task in though. So I'm kind of, kind of going to just, uh, stroll around the park. Ooh. So I found one of these at community day, but it ran for me, which sucked. I was like really looking forward to getting one of these at community day. And, uh, since then, this is like my fourth one. And I don't know about you, but that thing's awesome. That thing's like probably one of the best. Um, I really actually should take an AR photo with that sometime. Uh, cause it is legit. Oh look, a London five. I'm really rounding out my mysteries. In fact, um, in fact, I only have a couple left. I literally have, let's see, one left, and I've completed all my mysteries, which is awesome, because I'm gonna be doing a video on basically the whole storyline. So if you didn't know, if you go to the mysteries, when you unlock those, that's really going through all of the storyline, or a big portion of the storyline of the game. So that's definitely, uh, if you're interested in the storyline, definitely check out those mystery, um, foundables if that's what we're calling them um, those mysteries uh, because that's gonna unlock the story and it really is a cool story that we're going to um, see and of course over over time we're gonna be able to really they're really gonna expand on that storyline and that is gonna be awesome so perfect just need to use a potion. I always like using uh, an Assimilo potion if you haven't used one. Always use the strong Assimilo because you actually get one from your daily tasks. So if you use your Assimilo, Assimilo potion, you're gonna get one back later that day anyways. And it helps with bag maintenance if you only have 50 potions. It's a good way to, uh, to always make sure that uh, you're utilizing one and you don't have to like worry about using one of your other ones and you know getting rid of a, a different potion that you don't have as many of but if you utilize your uh your potions for your similar your strongest similar potions you always know that you're going to get another one the next day anyways so makes it pretty easy that way Look at that, another masterful spell. I'm getting pretty close to 400 if I haven't passed it already. I'm hoping this next event that starts in a couple days, I will be able to wrap that up. I think I will because the Golden Snitch is gonna be a pretty big, um, basically be the, one of the main wild uh, found, uh, foundables out there, which is that really simple um, trace, which is really nice. So I should be able to get a ton of excellence it's probably the one i get the um or sorry masterful it's probably the one i get the most masterful on so that is excellent news all right let's go ahead and collect all of these and collect and then if we take a look at achievements hopefully i've been able to get those oh wow i got a couple achievements actually to get but let's see, masterful. Oh, I'm eight away from 500. But I got over 100 during that last event. So I definitely think that literally in two days, I'm gonna start going hard on masterful spells. And I'm definitely, definitely gonna get to 500 finally. That will definitely be a special video because, of course, that's probably one of the ones I wanted to get the absolute most. 
uh, while, um, you know, in Wizards Unite. I mean, 500 masterful spells, I mean, that's pretty awesome. There's a, a bunch of other really cool achievements, but that's definitely a really cool one. So, in my opinion, that's probably one of the best ones. Um, and, it, I mean, honestly, I haven't found it too challenging, but I know a lot of people do have a really hard time with masterful spells. So if you do, go back and watch some of my videos on tracing. Uh, hopefully that will help you get more masterful spells. Uh, and maybe I'll do a couple more on how to get masterful spells during the event. Um, and some of the things that I do in order to make it a little bit easier. So. Let's see, after this one, I'll go check my achievements. I should be, I think I, I think I completed it. I think I got all my 10 coins. Uh, so that's probably where I'm gonna leave off, but I got a ton of really cool stuff um, to show you from what I did earlier today. I got a little bit of footage there, so I'm gonna try to, uh, to put some of that in the video so you guys can see that. So I hope you guys enjoy that, and let's see. I get my achievements? Yep, completed right there, so. Boom, right there, we're done. All right, have a good night, guys, and uh, check out the rest of the film. All right, today I'm in downtown LA, kind of in like a weird area, but uh, it's really close to the Fashion District, which is a really cool area of downtown LA. Uh, so we're gonna be hanging out down here a little bit today and then uh, doing some other cool stuff, so let's check it out. All right, so we're up on top of this awesome building, and I turn around, and there is a little hobbit door. Take a look at this. Like, let's, let's go up in here. It's like, it's like a little door. It's like a, a hobbit door or something like that. Like, it's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory door. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the Flower District and I can't open up my game. Literally, there is, I have 5G uh, E and I can't open up my game. It's crazy. But I am in the Flower District looking at some beautiful flowers. Uh, there really is some beautiful stuff down here and cheap, like the flowers down here are so inexpensive. There's some great stuff. If you ever get a chance to come down to the Flower District, you definitely should. They are closed on Sundays though, so make sure check ahead of time for when they're open because there is literally tons of places uh, when it's actually fully open that you will absolutely enjoy. So if you like this kind of thing, definitely check it out. camera I was, they were asking me all types of questions about the game so I thought I'd shout them out on the channel so thanks uh, for hanging out and yeah all right awesome mm -hmm. 